Idaho Commercial Driver's License Manual, July 2018 edition, published by the Idaho Transportation Department. Catalog number 01970001-2, Idaho Commercial's License Manual, published by the Idaho Transportation Department, Division of Mortar Vehicles, P.O. Box 7129, Boise, Idaho. 83707-1129 July 2018 edition Manual developed in conjunction with the American Association of Motor Vehicles Administers 2005 CDL testing model This manual and the Idaho Drivers Manual must both be studied in preparation for your CDL examinations Both manuals paraphrase the language of the Idaho Motor Vehicle Code Quotes go by the actual language of the code not these texts. The Idaho Transportation Department, or ITD, is committed to compliance with the Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and all related regulations and directives. ITD assures that no person shall, on the grounds of race, color, national origin, gender, age, or disability, be excluded from participation in, be denied the benefits of, or be otherwise subjected to discrimination under any ITD service, program, or activity. The department also assures that every effort will be made to prevent discrimination through the impacts of its programs, policies, and activities on minority and low-income populations. In addition, the department will take reasonable steps to provide meaningful access to services for persons with limited English proficiency. How to use this manual. Check the chart below to see what kind of commercial driver's license you need. Does the vehicle or combination of vehicles have a manufacturer weight rating, GVWR, of 26,001 pounds or more? If the answer is yes, is the vehicle a combination vehicle towing a unit over 10,000 pounds, GVWR? If the answer is yes, you need a CDL. If the answer is no, does the single vehicle have a GVWR of 26,001 pounds or more? If the answer is yes, you need a CDL. If the answer is no, is the vehicle des designed by the manufacturer or play carded to carry 16 or more passengers, also including the driver? If the answer is yes, you need a CDL. If the answer is no, does the vehicle require hazardous material play cards? If the answer is yes, you need a CDL. If the answer is no, you do not need a CDL. Note. A bus may be either Class B or C, depending on whether the GVWR is 26,001 pounds or more. The chapters to study. When obtaining a lessons type, Class A needs to study 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 11, 12, and 13. Class B needs to study 1, 2, 3, 5, 11, 12, and 13. Class C needs to study 1, 2, 3, 5, 11, 12, and 13. In order to ob obtain these endorsements of hazardous materials, 2, 3, 8, 9. Double triples, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. Tank vehicle, 2, 3, 8, 9. Passenger, 2, 3, 4, 11, 12, 13. A school bus, 2, 3, 4, 10, 11, 12, 13. Study Chapter 5 if you plan to operate vehicles equipped with air brakes. Knowledge Test Information General knowledge is the number of questions 50. The minimum correct to pass is 40. Hazmat is 30. You need 24 to pass. Air brake, 25. You need 20 correct to pass. Combination vehicles is 20. You need 16 answers correct to pass. Tank vehicles is 20. You need 16 correct to pass. Doubles and triples is 20. You need 16 to pass. Passenger vehicles is 20. You need 16 to pass. School buses is 20. You need 16 to pass. CDL license fees of one year up to an age of 20 is 
three years, ages 18 to 21, is $30. CDL four years, age 21 and over, is $40. Seasonal CDL, or 180 days, is $39. Commercial learner's permit is $29. Duplicate CDL or permit is $15. License upgrade is $25. Add endorsement after insurance insurance of a CDL does not include a written test fee of $15. Written tests each is $3. Skill tests, country CDL license or county CDL license fee is $10. Skill test CDL examiner fee varies, may be up to $190 per Idaho legislature. Most examiner rates are $80 to $150 statewide. Your DMV office has a list with different published rates. Idaho Commercials Driver's License Classes FMCSR 383.91 and Associated Tests Class A, B, C Endorsements T, N, H, P, S, and X Young girls and women are forced into prostitution along our nation's highways. You can help. Everyday heroes are needed. This is something I personally take very, very strongly. Please watch out and report anything outside of the normal. Human trafficking is modern day slavery. Traffickers use force, fraud, and coercion to control their victims. Any minor engaged in commercial sex is a victim of human trafficking. Any non-minor engaged in commercial sex is a victim of human trafficking. Anyone engaged in commercial sex passed on, pushed by a certain person, is a victim of human trafficking. Trafficking can occur in many locations, including truck stops, restaurants, rest areas, brothels, strip clubs, and private homes. Truckers, you are the eyes and ears of our nation's highway and are already making calls that are saving lives. If you see a minor or any person working in one of these areas or suspect pimp control, call the national hotline and report your tip. In the USA, it is 1-888-373-7888. In Canada, it is 1-800-222. TIPS. In Mexico, it is one or zero one eight zero zero five five three three zero zero zero. Make the call. Save lives. Truckersagainsttrafficking.org. Make the call. Save lives. In January 2015, an RV pulled into a truck stop in Virginia. Observant professional truck driver. Kevin Camille recognized suspicious activity around the RV, which had pulled back by the truck line, and decided something was off. Instead of turning a blind eye, he made a call that brought law enforcement out to the scene within a few minutes. After interviewing the occupants of the vehicle, they discovered that a young woman, 20 years old, had been kidnapped from Iowa two weeks prior. She had been beaten and raped, her whole body burned by instruments heated on the RV stove, branded and starved. She was being sold by her traffickers. Laura Sorensen and Alda Hodson, those sex ads on Craigslist, <clears throat> where men were purchasing her and then arriving to the RV to rape her. She was dying from malnutrition and the torture she was subjected to. Had the call not been made the bro that brought law enforcement out to the truck stop, doctors said she would have died within the next few days. Now a recovering survivor, this young woman calls Kimmel her guarding angel. He calls himself a trucker against trafficking. Truckers Against Trafficking is a non-profit organization that has been working with the tra trucking industry since 2009 to provide the needed training and tools to enable members of the industry to both recognize human trafficking when they see it happening and to know what actions to take enabling law enforcement to effectively fight this crime. Through this training and these tools, truckers are becoming everyday heroes like Kevin Kimmel, who is also named the Harriet Truman, or TAT's 2015, Truckers Against Trafficking, 2015, Harriet Tubman Award winner. One of the tools Truckers Against Trafficking provides is a wallet card with red flags to look for. 
questions to ask if you suspect someone is a victim and actionable information to report. This wallet card is available by app from the appropriate app store on all smartphones, whether Android, iPhone, or Windows format, as well as by emailing truckers against or tat.truckers at gmail.com or tat.truckers at gmail.com for a version to carry in your wallet. Additionally, TAT provides a powerful 26-minute training video on its website www.truckersagainstraffic.org or www.truckersagainsttrafficking.org which, when watching along with taking and passing a short test, certifies drivers as TAT trained, a designation which can go on your resume because professional drivers often find themselves in locations frequented and exploited by human traffickers. They are in a unique position to recognize the signs of human trafficking and to make the call that can lead to victim recovery and perpetuary arrests. Get your wallet card today. Be an everyday hero. Make the call. one 3737 888 Save lives. The Table of Contents, which we will travel through. Chapter 1, Introduction and Basic Information. Introduction, Commercial Vehicle Defined, Commercial Vehicle Exemptions, Commercial License Types, Commercial License Endorsements, Commercial License Restrictions, Seasonal CDL for Farm-Related Services, Commercial Driver License Tests, Knowledge Tests and License Classes, Skills Tests, Self-Certification and Medical Requirements, Interstate or inter intrastate commerce, inter or intrastate commerce status non expected, ex accepted or accepted, self certification statements, medical requirements for CDL holders, submit medical examiner certificate, medical qualifications for drivers, national registry of medical examiners, medical card exemptions for commercial driver qualifications, exempt commodities list. Idaho. Exempt operations. CDL disqualifications. General. Alcohol leaving the scene of an accident and commission of a felony. Serious traffic violations. Violations of out-of-state orders. Railroad, highway, grade crossing violations. Hattest materials endorsement background check and qualifications. Traffic violations in your personal vehicle. Other CDL rules. International Registration Plan, International Fuel Tax Agreement, CDL License Fees, How to Get a CDL, General Commercial Driver Qualifications, Foreign Commercial Driver's License if applicable, Commercial Learner's Permit, CDL Knowledge and Skills Tests, Skills Test Restrictions, Skills Test Vehicles and Requirements, CSA Information or Compliance Safety Accountability, Keeping Your Address Current. Central Issue of Driver's License, Administrative License Suspicions, ALS, Drug and Alcohol Testing, Driver, rec driver Record Requests, Figure 1.4, Sample Idaho Motor Vehicle Driver's License Record Request, Chapter 2, Driving Safely, Vehicle Inspection, Why Inspect, Types of Vehicle Inspection, What to Look For, Figure 2.1, illustrates a typical steering system. Figure 2.2 Key suspension parts Figure 2.3 Broken leaf spring Figure 2.4 Air suspension parts 214 CDL pre-tip vehicle inspection test 7-step inspection method Figure 2.5 Oil pressure Inspection during a trip Post-trip or after-trip inspection and report Basic control of your vehicle Accelerating, steering, stopping, backing safely, shifting gears, manual transmissions, multi-speed rear axles and auxiliary transmissions, automatic transmissions, retarders, also called jake brakes, seeing, seeing ahead, figure 2.6, judging distance, seeing to the sides and rear, Co figure 2.7, convex mirrors, communicating, Signal your intentions. Communicating your presence. 
Figure 2.8, placing warning devices. Figure 2.9, where to place triangles. Figure 2.1, obstructed view triangle placement. 2.6, controlling speed. Stopping distance. Figure 2.11, total stopping distance. Matching speed to road surface. Speed and curves. Speed and distance ahead. Speed and traffic flow. Speed on downgrades. Road work zones. Managing space. Space ahead. Figure 2.12, following distance. Space behind, space to the sides, space overhead, space below, and space for turns. Figure 2.13, correct execution of right turn. Figure 2.14, correct execution of left turn. Space needed to cross or enter traffic. Seeing hazards. Importance of seeing hazards. Hazardous roads. Drivers who are hazards always have a plan. Distracted driving. The distracted driving crash program. Effects of distracted driving. Types of distractions. Cell and mobile phones. Texting. Don't drive distracted. Watch for other distracted drivers. Aggressive drivers or road rage. What is it? Don't be an aggressive driver. What should you do when confronted by an aggressive driver? Driving at night. It is more dangerous. Driver factors. Roadway factors, vehicle factors, night driving procedures, driving in fog, driving in winter, vehicle checks, driving tips for winter, driving in very hot weather, vehicle checks, driving tips for hot weather, railroad highway crossings, types of crossings, warning signs and devices, figure 2.15, advanced warning railroad sign, figure 2.16, Railroad Crossing Pavement Markings Figure 2.17 Cross Buck Signs Figure 2.18 Railroad Gates or Lights Driving Procedures Stopping Safely at Railroad or Highway Crossings Crossing the Tracks Special Situations Mountain Driving Select a Safe Speed Select the Right Gear Before Starting Down the Grade Brake Fading or Failure Proper braking technique. Driving emergencies. Steering to avoid a crash. How to stop quickly and safely. Brake failure. Tire failure. Anti-lock braking system or ABS. How anti-lock braking system work. Vehicles required to have anti-lock syst anti braking systems. How to know if your vehicle is equipped with ABS. How ABS helps you. ABS on the tractor only or only on the trailer. Braking with ABS. Braking if ABS is not working. Safety reminders. Skid control and recovery. Drive wheel skids. Figure 2.19. Tractor jackknife. Correcting a drive wheel braking skid. Front wheel skids. Accident procedures. Protect the area. Notify authorities. Care for the injured. Fires. Cause of fire. Fire prevention. Firefighting. Alcohol. Other drugs and driving. Alcohol and driving, other drugs, illness, hazardous materials for all commercial drivers. What are hazardous materials? What are these rules? Figure 2.24, hazardous materials. List of regulated products. Figure 2.25, hazardous material play cards. Chapter 3, transporting cargo safely. Inspecting cargo, weight and balance. Definitions you should know. Legal weight limits. Don't be top heavy. Balance the weight. Figure 3.1. Loading cargo correctly. Securing cargo. Blocking and bracing. Cargo tie-down. Figure 3.2. Tie-down devices. Figure 3.2.A. Using tie-down devices. Header boards. Figure 3.3. Header board. Covering cargo. Sealed and containerized loads. Cargo needing special attention. Dry bulk. Hanging meat. Livestock oversized loads, transporting passengers safely. Class A, pa figure four, class A passenger bus, vehicle inspection, vehicle systems, access doors and panels, bus interior, roof hatches, use your seat belt, loading and trip start, hazardous materials, forbidden hazardous materials. Table 4.1, hazard class definitions, standee line, at your destination, on the road, passenger supervision, 
stops, common accidents, speed on curves, railroad highway crossings, drawbridges, 4.4, post-trip after-trip vehicle inspection, prohibited practices, use of brake door interlocks, chapter 5, air brakes, the parts of an air brake system, air compressor, air compressor governor, air storage tanks, air tank drains, figure 5.1, air tank drain, alcohol evaporator, safety valve, the brake pedal, foundation brakes, figure 5.2, drum brake, figure 5.2a, wedge brake, figure 5.2b, disc brake, supply pressure gauges, application pressure gauge, low air pressure warning, stoplight switch, front brake limiting valve, spring brakes, parking brake controls, figure 5.3, TPV and brake operation. Anti-lock braking systems, ABS, figure 5.4, ABS system, dual air brake, inspecting air brake systems, during step 2, engine compartment checks, during step 5, walk around inspection, during step 7, final air brake check, figure 5.5, low air pressure warning, 5.4, using air brakes, 5.41, normal stops, Braking with anti-lock brakes, emergency stops, stopping distance, stopping figure 5.6, stopping distance, brake fading or failure, proper braking techniques, low air pressure, parking brakes, appendix 1, the air brake system, chapter 6, combination vehicles, driving combination vehicles safely, rollover risks, steer gently, figure 6.1, rearward amplification, brake early, Railroad to Highway Crossings, Prevent Trailer Skids, Figure 6.2, Trailer Jackknife, Turn Wide for Off-Trafficking, Figure 6.3, Off-Tracking, Figure 6.4, Jug Handle versus Button Hook Turns, Backing with a Trailer, Figure 6.5, Backing a Trailer, Combination Vehicle Air Brakes, Trailer Hand Valve, Tractor Protection Valve, Trailer A Supply Control, Trailer A Lines, Hose couplers or glad hands. Figure 6.6. .6, coupling components. Trailer air tanks. Shutoff valves. Trailer service parking and emergency brakes. Anti lock brake systems. Trailers required to have ABS. Figure 6.7. .7, ABS malfunctioning warning light. Braking with ABS. Coupling and uncoupling. Coupling tractor semi trailers. Uncoupling tractor semi trailers. Coupling a pintle hook. Uncoupling a pintle hook. Coupling a dry bar, uncoupling a dry bar, coupling a gooseneck hitch, uncoupling a gooseneck hitch, inspecting a combination vehicle, additional things to check during a walk around inspection, figure 6.9, sliding fifth wheel, combination vehicle brake check, chapter 7, doubles and triples, pulling double and triple trailers, preventing trailer from rolling over, beware of the crack the whip effect, inspect completely, look far ahead. Manage space, adverse conditions, parking the vehicle, anti-lock break-in systems on converter dollies, coupling and uncoupling, coupling twin ta trailers, figure 7.1, converter gear on a dolly, uncoupling twin trailers, coupling and uncoupling triple trailers, coupling and uncoupling other combinations, inspecting doubles and triples, additional checks, additional things to check during a walk-around inspection, doubles, triples, air brake check, Additional air brake checks, long commercial vehicle certification, chapter 8, tank vehicles, which is not the tank I wish to drive, inspecting tank vehicles, leaks, check special purpose equipment, special equipment, driving tank vehicles, high center of gravity, danger of surge, bulkheads, baffle tanks, unbaffle tanks, outage, how much to load, safe driving rules, drive smoothly, controlling surge, curves, stopping distance, and skids, hazardous materials, hazmat endorsement, application process, pre-enrollment, fingerprinting, determination of security threat, knowledge testing, renewals and extensions, insurance or denial of hazardous materials endorsements, introduction to hazardous materials, the intent of the regulations, contain the material, communicate the risk, assure safe drivers and equipment, hazardous material transportation, who does what, the shipper, the carrier, the driver, communication rules, definitions, package labels, list of regulated products, 
the shipping paper, the item description, shipper certification, package markings and labels, recognize hazardous materials, hazardous waste manifest, play carding, play carded tables, loading and unloading, general loading requirements, bulk packaging marking, loading and unloading, markings, tank loading, flammable liquids, compressed gas, hazardous materials, driving and parking rules, parking with division 1.1, 1.2 or 1.3 explosives, parking a play card vehicle or not transporting divisions 1.1, 1.2 or 1.3 explosives, attending parked vehicles, no flares, route restrictions, no smoking, refuel with engine off, 10 BC fire extinguisher, check tires, where to keep shipping papers and emergency response information. Equipment for chlorine. Stop before railroad crossings. Hazardous materials or emergencies. Emergency response guidebook or ERG. Crashes or incidents. Fires. Responses to specific hazards. Required notification. Hazardous material glossary. Section 171.8 Definitions and Abbreviations. Chapter 10 School buses. Danger zones and use of mirrors. Danger zones. Correct mirror adjustment. Outside left and right side flat mirrors. Figure 10.2. Hmm, not named. Figure 10, or er, outside left and right side convex mirrors. Figure 10.3. Outside left and right side crossover mirrors. Overhead inside review mirror. Figure 10.4a. A student mirror. Loading and unloading. Approaching the stop. Figure 10.4b, stop position, undivided highway. Figure 10.4c, stop position, divided highway. Loading procedures, unloading procedures on the route. Unloading procedures at school. Special dangers for loading and unloading. Pre-trip and post-trip inspection. Emergency exit and evacuation. Planning for emergencies. Evacuating procedures. Railroad highway crossings. Types of crossings. Warning signs and devices. Figure 10.5, advanced warning sign. Figure 10.6, pavement markings. Figure 10.7, cross buck sign. Figure 10.8, gate or multiple railroad tracks. Recommended procedures. Special situations. Student management. Don't deal with on bus problems when loading and unloading. Handling serious problems. Anti-lock braking systems. Vehicles required to have anti-lock braking systems. How ABS helps you. Braking with ABS. Braking if ABS is not working. The ABS warning light. Safety reminders. Special safety considerations. Strobe lights. Driving in high winds. Backing. Tail swing. An example of tail swing. Chapter 11. Vehicle inspection test. General information. Scheduling your test. Time limit for vehicle inspection test. Vehicles used in the test. Restrictions. Conducting the restriction. The inspection. Practice for the vehicle inspection. Vehicle inspection memory aid. Grounds for immediate failure of the skills test. All vehicles. Engine compartment. Engine off. Steering and suspension. Steering. Check the following components. Suspension. Front axle. Brake components. Wheels. Side vehicle. Rear vehicle. Tractor coupling. School bus inspection item found at the back of this chapter. Trailer. Trailer front. Side of trailer. Remainder of trailer. In cab check or engine start, light checks, brake checks, school bus only, coach transit bus inspection items, passenger items, entry exit doors, external bus inspection, reminder of coach or transit bus. Basic control skills, chapter 12. Scoring, time limits, exercise and course dimensions, straight line backing, offset back right, offset back left, parallel park, driver's side, parallel park, conventional. Allied, alley dock. Figure 12.1, straight line backing. Figure 12.2, offset backing right. Figure 12.3, offset backing left. Figure 12.4, parallel park driver side. Figure 12.5, parallel park conventional. Figure 12.6, allied dock course and dimensions. Figure 12.7, offset backing course dimensions. Figure 12.8, parallel park course dimensions. Chapter 3, road test. How you will be tested. Turns. Figure 13.1. Four-way intersections. Intersections. Urban, rural, straightaway. Lane changes. Freeway, expressway. Stop, start. Curve. Railroad crossing. Bridge, overpass sign. 
Student discharge, school bus test only. General driving behaviors. Clutch usage for manual transmissions. Gear usage for manual transmissions. Brake usage, lane usage, steering, regular traffic checks, use of turn signals, CDL vehicle inspection, figure 13.2, memory aid, next page. Brake test practice checklist truck. Brake test practice checklist bus. And that ends the introduction.